वेलकम टू नीलेश टेक्नोलॉजी हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज द वीडियो नंबर सेवन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टेट विथ क्लास कंपोनेंट हाउ द स्टेट इज हैंडल इन अ क्लास कंपोनेंट सो देर इज सम डिफरेंट वे बट इट सिमिलर टू द रिएक्ट हुक्स ओके बट हियर वी आर नॉट यूजिंग द हुक्स डिरेक्टली ओके सो बट वर्किंग इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम सो वी डिरेक्टली गो टू द वी एस कोड ऑन द लास्ट वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी सी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ फंक्शनल कंपोनेंट that code is already uh, pushed into the git repositories okay if you go to the git and uh, when you explore the react youtube i i already given the link in the description of this each and every video so this functional component code is uh, already pushed to the git repositories you can download it then after downloading hit the command npm i then hit the command npm start okay you will get the all kinds of a source code now here uh, the project 7 is ready let me start the server npm start okay so that hello program is displayed in here now i explore the app.js let me convert this program to uh, the class okay so how to convert this function to class it's a it's a class and that's that app is extends to the components to the component it's a react component uh, let me import it import react and component from react okay and uh, we need to uh, shift this return statement to the render method render and inside that this is the return statement so this class extends the component uh, that bracket is not required this is the class and this is my render method bracket is required so i think this is the method so curly braces is required inside that there is a return method hello react js new let me just cross check is it working let me save it yeah it's working so like this way we convert the function program to the class okay so now this is the class component let me add the one more constructor constructor okay and inside this constructor uh, you need to first call the super okay so super is required because we extend the each and every class to the component and this dot state i just define uh, one object inside that object i just define the data is like the uh, nilesh technology okay let me print the data inside the render method so inside the render let me add a bracket because we are using the multiple statements this is the hello and after that data is equal to so how to print the data again we need to use the react fragment to bind these two statement into the yes data equal to so we we get the data like the this dot state dot because the state have the one object so data dot uh, state dot data let me save it so data equal to nilesh technology so like this way we need to define a state and we we retrieve that the state now coming to the point when i click on that the button and i want to change the value of this the state then how we can do that let me add the one button okay and its button is the click me button is added we hit the on click method to uh, change value okay so we need to define this method 
change value inside this class change value so inside this method uh, I think this is called with the help of this 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 is required because this method is inside the class uh, and here we need to change the value of this state so how to change this the value so change this the value with the help of set state method so state and sta set state these two properties is predefined uh, you need to use the each and every time these two names state and set state and inside that we need here i am going to change the object name okay like the youtube channel save it so now the data is nilesh technology when i click on it uh, got the error set state let me check it this dot sorry uh, it's not the bracket it's need to assign it okay let me save it clear refresh click me oh again i cannot set the property undefined setting the set state so equal to equal to equal to bracket required oh that bracket is automatically removed because of this prettier so change value okay let me disable the prettier first step is also in there let me delete it okay i think let me go to the setting preferences setting format so let me disable the format none okay so it's working now let me remove it refresh click me okay i think uh, we need to cross check the code again so super is there this dot state equal to here we assign the some value then we define our method using the this dot set state we change the state value mm, okay let me try again and inside this render method on click uh, yeah i think this is called inside the arrow function yeah uh, refresh click me change value is the method it's not the variable yeah it's change okay uh, so what we have uh, done the changes so changes is like we define a one class inside that class the constructor is defined super method is defined so with the help of this dot state we assign a some value to the data variable then uh, we define our method change value and here we use the set state method inside this parenthesis you just change whatever you want to do the change the value do it and in the render method display this value and on time of button click you just need to call this function change value so like this way the class component is handled when you remove the super statement in here and save it you got the error okay so the error is like error is like 
must call the super constructor in a derived class before accessing the this or anything so that's why the super is a mandatory to for each and every constructor when you uh, extend your the class to the component okay so i hope uh, you 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 get the idea about how to handle the state in a class component so in a next video uh, i am going to give the one example of a related to the increment and decrement counter value using function component and the uh, class component both okay so see uh, before that this is this this kind of a some description uh, in react the state object can be updated using the set state method react them may update the multiple set statement uh, update in a single go thus using the value of the current state may not always generate the desired result okay so in the next video we are going to see the more examples related to the function component and class component and uh, this is the increment and decrement counter related example so keep learning keep watching please like and subscribe this channel and see you on next video bye bye